Welcome to our lesson about the Quick Calculator. The Quick Calculator can be used in two modes, standalone and transparent. You've seen me use the Quick Calculator previously in this course, so you may remember where the icon is located. Let's go to the View tab, Palettes panel, and here's the tool. Another way to launch it is by typing QC in the command line and pressing Enter. In standalone mode, you use the calculator like a regular handheld calculator. To get results, press the equal symbol. We can use this button to pass results to the command line. This button clears the calculator's history. Another way to do that is to right-click and scroll down to clear history. The calculator lets us work in imperial format as well, in feet and inches. Here's 3 feet 4 inches. Let's subtract 2 feet 1 inch. And here is our result displayed in the imperial system. Now let's see what happens when I try to subtract 5 inches from 5 feet. Press Enter. AutoCAD ignores the minus sign. To solve this problem, we're going to need to use parentheses in a situation like this. Click the equal sign now, and here is the correct result. So far, we've used the calculator in standalone mode. I'm going to close it now, and let's learn how to use it in transparent mode. Let's go to the Home tab, and let's create some geometry now. Let's say a rectangle. Place our first point, now right click and select dimensions. Let's make it 12 by 10. And then left click to place it. OK, let's apply dimensions now. Go to the Annotate tab to do that. Object Snap Mode is on. Activate the Dimension command and select our two points for the linear dimension. Left click to place it. The text is pretty small. Type D and press Enter. Let's go to the Modify button, Text tab, and let's change the height to 0.3. Click OK and close. Let's actually make it a bit bigger. Type D again, Modify button, 0.4, OK and close. Now it looks better. Let's get back to the Home tab. I want to create a line that originates from this midpoint and ends three quarters of the way down this line. Let's toggle ortho snap mode on. Activate the line tool. Snap to midpoint. Right click and scroll to quick calculator. Now we have the calculator in transparent mode. The apply button is right here. First, let's enter this value, 12 units. Multiply it by 3 quarters, 0.75, and press equals. Apply. As you can see, the value is passed right to the command line. Let's press enter. Now right click and enter. And let's dimension the line. We'll create one more line. Activate the line command. Activate midpoint snap. Right click, quick calculator. This time I'm going to create a line that's equal to half the length of this line. Instead of entering this value manually, I can use the measure distance between two points tool. Select the first point. Select the second point. And now enter the rest of my argument, divide by 2, equals, and apply. The value is placed in the command line. Press Enter. Right-click and Enter to exit the tool. Now let's draw a circle. We'll place it about here. For the radius, let's enter 5 units and press Enter. 
Let's create a second circle with radius one-third of this circle's radius. Activate the circle command, place the center point, right-click, scroll to Quick Calculator, now measure distance, first point, snap to quadrant, second point, divided by three. Oops, I messed up my syntax here, let's fix that. There we go. Equals. Apply to place the value in the command line and press enter to accept that radius value. Let's try another example. I'm going to create a triangle using the line tool. Last leg, right click and enter to close the line tool. And let me activate the line tool again. Now if I try to right click and bring in the calculator, it doesn't work. Let's do it in a different way. Press Escape to exit. And let's activate the line command again. Now type in the keyboard shortcut for the quick calculator, Control 8. Now let's type an argument, end, plus, end, plus, end, close parenthesis, divided by 3, equal symbol. Now we need to pick up three points. The first, the second, and the third. And here are the coordinates for the center of the triangle. Click Apply, and place the second point about right here. Right-click and Enter. Let's verify that we did indeed get the center of the triangle. Right-click on Object Snap, select Midpoint. Now activate the Line tool. Snap to this midpoint. Right-click and Enter. Repeat Line. From this vertex to this midpoint. Right-click and Enter to close. And repeat the line. From this vertex to this midpoint. Right-click and Enter to close. And yes, we correctly identify the center of the triangle. This concludes our lesson about the Quick Calculator.